I'm Reed Price, the director here at the Bainbridge Island Senior Community Center. Thank you for your support through One Call for All. We have also a program which uh, Karen King helped us put together several years ago called Fob Fridays, and members of the Senior Center uh, enjoy discounts at uh, many merchants, a 10% discount on Fridays when you show off your key fobs that we give you as a member. And one of the first organizations that did that was Dana's Showhouse. And I'm happy to say that we have Mary Terry here, who uh, operates Dana's Showhouse and Furnished Bainbridge. And uh, you with your partner, Terry, do this. And I'd love to hear a little bit about how you got started with a shop that everybody that I've talked to loves, the gift shop and curios and act just a wonderful, friendly staff and great, uh, great merchandise there at Dana. So tell us a little bit about how, uh, how you got involved with the business. Um, well, Terry had, had worked for Dana for, I think about 10 years and I'd known Dana for a good 35 years and had worked for her way back when, because, uh, her employee was leaving uh, her employee and she said, I'm moving. The employee said to Dana, who was nine months pregnant with her third C-section, uh, I'm moving tomorrow. So Dana called me and said, help. So anyway, I ended up working in the shop and then uh, just, we're just, you know, just instant friends. Our kids are the same ages and, and, um, so we've kind of been friends since I moved here and I still have a lot of stuff I bought at the shop at the time. So um, Terry worked for Dana and then when Dana got ready to retire, um, she uh, offered the store to Terry and uh, I had owned Esther's for 13 years in the middle of that. And so I had sold it and I was a little bored and so Terry and I bought Dana's and I think that was about 13 years ago. I can't, you know, when you're having a good time, I can't remember exactly when it was, but we did that. And then we moved the store to where it is now. Um, and, you know, at the corner by Blackbird. Yeah. Where the old jewelry store was years ago. But Robert's jewelry was there. And so we then moved, uh, they needed more space. So when they tore up the street, um, we moved, uh, into half of danger. So we are the floor half and they're the wall half. So that's how it got, uh. that's how it got broken up. And so late night paint party, it's half Dana's and half ginger. Therefore it's danger. So that still wasn't enough space. So we ended up buying, I mean, renting the space where furnish is now the top, I think about six years ago, and then we moved, spilled into the other space, I think just a year after that. So if it's real estate, we'll rent it. So, <laughs> so you have uh, looked at Winslow Way from a variety of perspectives yeah. and the ins and outs of, uh, of doing business there. Uh, has yeah. it changed a lot? Um, have, have, has the, I know that we get a lot of customers over the summer. Has that increased? Uh, with uh, traffic from Seattle, not this year, obviously. Not but. this year, but but um, Furnish has all. I mean, we've always always been a local business. Um, that's where our customers come from, and we know it. And um, it got to almost the point there were almost too many tourists because our locals felt like there wasn't a place to park. Even their secret parking places were taken. And so it's really been very nice. I mean, low abbing the furniture. We do sell furniture to Seattle, but, um, and, you know, any place on the water from here to Port Angeles and from here to Bremerton. But, um, but our, you know, our, our trade is local and we know it. So that's been, and it's, and it's still the same and probably more so now, of course, because of the pandemic last summer. Anyway, it's yeah, that's, and and, that's been, and when you think about about, I mean, that's uh, to me that makes a lot of sense anyway because yeah. we're all here together. And uh, if you want me to be a customer, obviously that's your reliable clientele. Exactly, 
And just the way we do business at Furnish, you know, we loan rug samples to people. Uh, people take chairs home to make sure they're comfortable. And, you know, that's really hard to do in the city. That, yeah. you know, that for all the temptation, you think, well, I've got this down. Let's go. It, it, the way we do business is we can, well, I think we can do it on this side. I'm not sure Seattle works. So. Mm -hmm. And uh, and when you're thinking about uh, buying for the uh, shop, what uh, what kinds of uh, things come to mind when you're looking at at Bainbridge customers as your primary customers? Well, in in from my perspective, from the furniture perspective, you know, people don't want show off things; they want comfortable furniture, and because people live in their homes here, and if you've got a show off house, it's not here. You know, it's in Palm Springs or in Seattle or somewhere else. But here, it's family, comfortable homes and furniture, and that's what that's why we are, that's why we buy what we do. We sit in every chair. We don't buy anything out of a catalog. We sit in every chair and to make sure that they're comfortable. Now Terry has longer legs than I do, so <laughs> it fits her and it fits me. It fits everybody. That's good. Yeah. Um, so, yes, the pandemic has certainly changed things. We had several months there where we were being encouraged not to really uh, frequent any shops. It's gotten a little better now, uh, and obviously we've all learned. Uh, we have the Waterfront Thrift down here. We've learned about protocols of managing how many people come in the store and uh, making sure. sure that we're keeping track of people who come in. I'm aware that you're doing many of the same things. Yeah. But, uh, but in the process, you were telling me that you developed uh, – a lot more savvy about online selling. Can you tell me a little bit about well, that? Well, online, I mean, online selling is like, is another business. Um, and so what, well, you got savvy and you got it quick. Um, Terry and Terry Bryant and John Carson, who works for her uh, in a week, decided that uh, they got, figured out how to do this website and how to get it up and running a week after we shut down. I mean, you know, remember back to those times, we put a sign on the door when we left here March 18th that said, see you April 1st. And it, it still makes me cry to think that, but, but that's what we thought. Remember, we were all just going, oh, well, this is going to, it yeah, didn't go. Exactly. Well. Most, you know, we'll see you in a month or three months we'll at the see most. You, in a month, you know, we'll be fine. But, um, you know, that's not what happened. And so the people that did contact us and say, we need to come and look around, you know, we, everybody had on a mask and mask and gloves at the time and everybody had on a mask and, and, um, but people moved here and they didn't have any furniture. So it was a matter of I'll take that and that and that. So it was like, okay, <laughs> we'll deliver it on Tuesday. So mask up, gowned up, you know, the our crew got it to people's houses, but nobody was shopping. People were out buying because they, and, and then of course, as people have been home and that sofa never was comfortable, uh, you know, we've done a whole lot more of that and uh, people buying stuff off the floor. We have nothing. The only thing we own is what is on the floor. Our warehouse is empty. There is no furniture that left there. And we usually have a back stock, but, but we don't. Anyway, our suppliers have taken longer because, of course, they're in a situation where uh, their workers are skilled employees. There's nobody under 40 who works in a furniture factory. It's, um, and so it's an older population. They're, uh, you know, they have the same problems we do. So they've, um, uh, they had to slow down. North Carolina had to slow down. California shut down. So it's been, resupplying has been interesting and it's taking longer than it ever has. But they're trying to keep their people safe too, because it's not like you can just go get somebody else to work these jobs. They're skilled labor. And so you don't want to lose anybody. So it was, it was very, it's very interesting. It's still very interesting <laughs> at times, but supply chains were cut from China. You know, I kept thinking there won't be a swivel made in this country from years, but in fact, they have caught up with some of those mechanical things that they got elsewhere. So it's been interesting. 
Yeah, I uh, my my mother and grandmother had a little department store on uh, Whidbey Island in Langley when I was oh. growing up, and I remember uh, that we would take trips uh, to gift shows, and um, of mm -hmm. course it was clothing, so we'd go also to the clothing shows. I'm guessing that a lot of that kind of stuff you're talking about sitting in the chairs, that's not happening right now, right? Yeah, it's. Um High Point, which is the biggest furniture show in the world. We still make the best furniture in the world. Uh, High Point was closed, uh, didn't show in April, didn't show in October. This year, it won't be April either. It will be, um, I think, June. They're going to try for June because, you know, there's 400,000 people come to this show from all over the world. Uh-uh. No, they're not. So, yeah, so that's that's probably made that's another wrinkle in the idea of how to supply and what thinking about what you're going to have for next season. Read, there was no next season. People reintroduced fabric, but that you know that's something you can ship to people. They, and, but they're busier than they've ever been. Isn't that fun? I mean, because people have moved, they, people have so many people have moved, not just to Bainbridge, although it does feel like it here. Uh, so many people have moved that every tr semi in this country is full. People have moved cross country and they brought their stuff. So our just getting a sofa from North Carolina here is taking about two weeks longer than ever because there aren't any trucks left. Wow. Yeah, I yeah. do. I, I did read an article about how uh, all those uh, techie folks who were living in San Francisco in really expensive uh, real estate now are being told, we aren't going to need you to come back in the office anytime right. soon. So they're probably coming to places like uh, Bainbridge Island or Orcas Island or uh, yep. Eastern Washington or somewhere. Anywhere. It's uh, people who have moved to places that they never thought they would move, but because their jobs don't require you to be at work every day. And I don't think the tech companies even knew how portable people could be until they're forced to. So it's been it's been really interesting for them, too. But there's a lot of people that were told, you know, you, you don't ever have to come back. And one of our but younger tech friends on the island said that he thought he could see himself going back two days a week to Seattle to hit work with his team, but there's no reason for everybody to congregate. Well, and, and we're learning things like, I mean, this meeting work. right here, we're, uh, yeah. we're meeting every day on the senior at the senior center at 1130. And although it isn't the same as being together, it is, yeah. uh, it is much better, better than not than being together at all. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, uh, uh, I will, will love to see my grandson. I haven't seen him in a year and he's 17 months old. Um, so I think he thinks some of the people some of have reported that they they think their grandparents are two by four because that's what shows up on the screen. And they're so surprised <laughs> that their grandparents are really life-size people. So I just think that's just pitiful. But I'm being a big girl, and we'll see him in May when we're both vaccinated. So That's good. That's good. So if anybody has any questions or comments about Furnish or uh, Dana Showhouse or anything else uh, that you'd like to say, you can certainly open up your microphone. Uh, Karen, I see your microphone's open. Do you have a comment? Yes, um, uh, Mary, it's so good to see you. And I uh, just wanted to let you know that the, on our FOB Friday, we just have Dana's listed as a 10% on Fridays, not Furnished Bainbridge or Danger. So I, I just wanted to make everybody aware of that, that it's not all three stores, it's just Dana's. Not till Terry tells me so. Okay. No, <laughs> no, I, I have I've gone into Danger every once in a while and I go, oh, can I get a 10% discount? And you want to be on FOB Friday? And they go, no. And I go, okay, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Danis is just fine. So, you know. Yeah, so, we're happy for any support. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And so it, it's, uh, I just wanted to make that clear to everybody. It's just Danis that's on Fob Friday. So. so. Thank you for that. But, yeah. And uh, I did, I, Terry did do, um, they did sell 700 puzzles online. I know, wonderful. And she delivered most of them. Yes. 
Yeah, I wanted to I wanted to mention that that I saw on one of the little uh, reviews online. Um, somebody wrote, "I ordered three puzzles around seven a.m. and they were delivered to my house just hours later. Mm -hmm. Fastest yeah. customer service ever." Yeah, uh, she was she was going nuts. I had plenty of sewing projects to do for the m two months I was off, but. Terry, Terry doesn't sit still very long. Nope. And so um, she, she d did deliver 700 puzzles and we did just fulfill our thousandth order of what was online. So it had to be small, it had to be uh, sendable. You know, you could not pack and you just couldn't do that. So anyway, they the things they put online were the things that were um, either one of a kind or things that easily shipped. So we had an entire shipping center at our warehouse at one point. So, whew. wow. <laughs> over. Well, Can I, you hear I have a, a that um, furniture company that uh, Dana sells uh, from Canada. Are they still um, supplying? They are supplying, but they had their problem. They had their COVID issues also. Yeah. Uh, but they are still supplying. They're still good. They're, it's still working. Somehow the truck drivers can get across the border if nothing, if nobody else can. So Yeah, yeah. because I, we bought a sofa from Terry a couple of years ago. That's why I knew it was longer than two years ago, because we bought our sofa, our sectional, <laughs> two years ago. So anyhow, yeah. So I, and that's a wonderful company, also that from Canada. They, yes, beautiful yeah, workmanship. So now we're going to get some dining room tables and chairs and stools and stuff too from them. So oh, good. I'm excited! <laughs> Yay! 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 So um, have you? Have you? You must meet a lot of the people who are just moving here. Yes. So you're yes, part of the are. welcome wagon. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the old fashioned welcome wagon. Don't you wish it was still here? Um, very much so. We try to orient people. Uh, we try to orient people, you know, to barn. And um, we should put you guys on the, you know, we should put you guys on the list too. But just and because I think a lot of the people that we've met are older, um, either moved here because their kids are here, um, but, you know, retired or end of career, there, people are moving here. So it's it, it, it's interesting. I don't, because schools are not you know, back up and running yet, as they will be next week, a lot of kids have moved here that have never met any of their classmates. So there's gonna be a big curve, I think. The other thing that people are very interested in are is hikes and the parks and where can you go for a walk Lots of people, lots of interest in that. So I thought that was that was great because you the only dates you can have dinner dates with people, but you can do hike dates. So we've we've like signed up with friends uh, many a weekend that you can't see them otherwise, but you can see them to go for a walk. Yeah. And that's a great thing. You should uh, let people know because we've been doing these programs for several <laughs> months that um that if they're trying to figure out about things that are on Bainbridge, they can check out the Bainbridge Island Senior Community Center's YouTube channel because we've got okay. interviews just like yours online. Okay. And, so, uh, and so people can find out a little bit about some of these things. In fact, um, Bonnie and Lawrence Chan, who are on this call, moved here right before the shutdown. And uh, okay. we've gotten to know them pretty much only online. But it's been... Uh, now we see you and now we see you around town, but. Oh, fun. It's, yeah. it's, I don't know what, you know, what would you think of this community if you only knew it front, through the pandemic? It would be very interesting. Yep. Yep. We'll you have know, a great coming out party. Well, and you know, you, you had to explain to people that, you know, this isn't normal Christmas, you know, Christmas is usually that there's a, you know, there's a tree to light. There's, you know, it. It was, it's so restrained and that's kind of not like us. I think Bainbridge has always had uh, multi-generational events. There's always something for everybody. And of course, not having 4th of July this year, I think was very disheartening, but what, what are you gonna do? Get everybody sick, so. Nope. But 
we really missed it. So next year, either people are going to figure out, man, I really like that pace, or this is going to be a great party. <laughs> I think it'll be a little bit of both. I think that uh, oh. I think that we'll we we now know that we can give our ourselves permission not to do absolutely everything, but uh, but we still also will really enjoy uh, getting out there and uh, dancing to the Fender skirts. Yes, I think dinner and uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving in my garage. I'm not sure I'll ever repeat that. That was a lot more work <laughs> <laughs> doing it at your dining room table. So. Well, we really are uh, appreciative of the hard work that you have been doing to keep your businesses open. We really, those of many of us live right downtown, and so we've been walking right by and dropping in when we could. So Thank we'll keep you. doing that. We're, we're, we're okay. We're, wonders never cease. We're okay. I'm glad we had what we had in stock, but we're okay. We'll be fine. Good. That's great. Well, we're glad to hear that.